we are live hello everybody thanks for stopping by moments with marvin i know i put out a lot of video about our trip to india and uh it was a wonderful trip uh, but the videos don't tell half the story of how wonderful it is so i want to go on and uh tell you personally how it was how the trip was uh, going into India uh, first of all that's my first time in India and so I've been overseas before uh, Africa Caribbean Mexico you name it England uh, but I had never been to India and so uh, I'm always excited about preaching the gospel uh, but I'm especially excited about places where I have not gone or have not been and India is one of those places. Before I get to the spiritual side of it, uh, I won't finish on that note. Uh, let me just talk about the uh, tourist side, the personal side. The place we stayed is called the Conrad Hotel. If you've never heard of the Conrad Hotel, Google it, Google it. It is five star luxury accommodations it is it is a pearl in the middle of Bangalore uh, we stayed at okay the the let me put it to you this way the the uh, not Bangalore the uh, name of the hotel the Conrad Hotel is better than every hotel I've ever stayed in and I've stayed in quite a few in the United States except one I stayed in one in Atlanta, Georgia that was better than the, uh, that was better than Conrad. If they had 10 stars, that one in Atlanta would have those 10 stars. Uh, but uh, the place was beyond my wildest imagination. If you're in the hotel, if you're on the property, you never know you are in the heart of India, southern India, Bangalore. Uh, so, so the accommodations were uh, exquisite. And if you are a uh, Hilton, it's a member of the Hilton Hotel chain, you get, uh, you know, the Hilton honors and you get the discounts and you get all the benefits that come with being a, a member of the, of the Hilton program. And so listen, my hat goes off to Hilton, especially in India. And so we're able to get those accommodations at a very good rate, at, at a very good rate. And so it's, it's like God was looking uh, looking after us, looking out for us, and I uh, thank God for all his blessings. The Bible says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his, what? Benefits. <laughs> and so, the, the lodging was just, was just terrific. We, uh, my son Brandon, we call him B, uh, we went online and uh, we wanted to know what is the cuisine like. And so we have an Indian restaurant here in Temple called Ropas. And uh, Ropas is, man, I love Ropas. I could eat Ropas every day if I could afford it. But I could, uh, I love Ropas. And if you know anything about Indian food, it's very flavorful, very spicy. Spicy doesn't necessarily mean hot, but spicy could mean hot. And so I like it because it's very spicy. And even with the mild, sometimes I break out with a sweat. Uh, but anyway, the food was just delicious. We had authentic Indian food. You've got you've got Western food over there if you want it. You can go to McDonald's. Uh, you see McDonald's in some of the uh, some of the uh, videos I put out on uh, YouTube. Uh, and you can go, you know, get Western food. But we wanted the. Indian food, the Indian flavor. Now, one thing that you'll be hard pressed to get is uh, a hamburger. Select places, select places have beef. Uh, you can get it, but it's at select places that have it. The uh, meat of the day is fish, uh, probably followed by chicken. And so, uh, even if you go in the McDonald's over there, you say, I want a sausage McMuffin. Okay, that's chicken sausage. That's not a that's not a beef sausage or pork sausage. Uh, you know you know India and the cows and beef and you, you know all that. I don't have to give you a a history lesson right here. But the food was very good, and to eat with your fingers is nothing. You eat with your, they use those fingers like scissors sometimes. 
Uh, and uh, and so I went over there. I had the butter chicken, the lemon rice. Um, I can't pronounce the other things that I had, but I just wanted to just take in India. But of the restaurants we went to, went to a number of restaurants. The best place that I've eaten over there in India, I kid you not, was the Wednesday night. We had home cooked Indian food. Uh, we went to the home of uh, Pastor Paki Raj and Samantha. His wife Samantha cooked food for us. That was better than any restaurant that they had in India. Her butter chicken, her lemon rice, her the other dishes. Uh, they they were they were the best. Now uh, that's the cuisine side, and you know you had everything eating off a banana leaf. Uh, I mean, breakfast, Indian breakfast, lunch, dinner, everything. We had, we had everything. Uh, I'll tell you this, I'll tell you this. I can't wait to go back to India. I can't wait to go back. I know next year it's not necessarily on the docket unless the Lord says something different. Next year we're going to try to go to Mexico. Uh, we're talking about going back to Honduras. And uh, our main goal is want to go to Israel next year. Oh, man, before I, before I get too deep. Everybody who donated, because there are some people, uh, I haven't shaken your hand personally, but I want to thank you for your donation to help make this trip possible to India. Uh, I don't want to get to calling names, but uh, I'll call just a few. They're very near and dear to me. Uh, I've got some brothers and sisters. My sister Joyce Mack donated. Uh, my uh, brother, Elder Tim Wells donated. Uh, uh, James Mitchell, a friend of mine here in Temple, Texas, donated. Alberto McQueen, we call him Mac. Uh, thank you for your donation, Mac and his wife Janice. They they donate. A number of people uh, came together and pulled together to make this make this possible. And so uh, next year uh, we're going to be trying to go to uh, Israel. Like I said, our main one. And, uh, you know, if you see the donation thing come by you, maybe you consider uh, giving. Uh, remember, no, do no donation is turned away. No, I got it wrong. No dollar is turned away. No donation is too small. Together we made this thing happen. And we can, we can do great things. And who gets the glory? God gets the glory. Because on the spiritual side, uh, uh, going over there preaching, I had an interpreter. To uh, translate the language uh, I think they got like eight different dialects just in that local area and so uh, uh, there's a lot of translation going on but the gospel is getting preached uh, that Sunday I preached I think like four people gave their life to Jesus Christ and listen that in itself was worth everything it was, a, it was a tw over 24 hour trip there coming back with the layover it was over 30 hours uh, that in itself, that people would give their life to Jesus Christ, uh, was well worth every penny, well worth the, the time, every minute, well worth the investment. Uh, and not, not only that, but the church, the churches were strengthened, encouraged, uh, met a lot of new friends over there. Uh, one, one, one in particular plays chess. I took it easy on him. I didn't want him to know that I was taking it easy on him. But his name is Anup. And I guess he's like the local, the local chess celebrity over there. You know, I want, you know, I didn't want to go over there talking noise. You know how we are, you know, walking loud, talking proud, drawing a crowd. I ain't, I ain't want to go over there doing all that. And so I just went over there just kind of modestly, let him win a few, you know, let him get a few pieces. But I want to tell him, man, you don't know who you messing with, man. I tell you what, brother, I'm the king of chess, man. I'm the grandmaster. Before the grandmaster was a grandmaster, I was a grandmaster. But I'm at the church now. And uh, thank you for going along with me for a little ride and uh, investing in India. And uh, we're believing God for a great service tonight. We're praying for you. We're praying for you. A number of prayer requests out there. Um, we are praying. I don't have any news yet, but I know that there's a prayer vigil going on for Pastor Tony Evans' wife. And so uh, we're praying for her. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any update, any news. I just saw it, just like many of you saw it. We're praying for her. Uh, we're praying for these churches that, you know, uh, need God's help, need God's favor, need souls, need finances. We're praying for you. Uh, we're praying that God's will be done. And, and listen, 
I believe with all my heart that God's got a blessing for you. So let's pray a word of prayer because I'm getting ready to go into the church service for the Wednesday night service. Father, I pray right now, God, that you'd move in Sister Evans, her life, God, her life is in your hands, God. I pray a miracle, Lord God. I pray for those listening to this, God. I pray for those, Lord God, God, that are needy for you, God, need you to move in their finances, in their marriages, in their life, in a situation. They need that job, Lord God. I pray, God, for those that don't know you as Lord and Savior, God, that they come to the saving grace of Jesus Christ, Lord God. I pray right now, God, that you are moving their life. And if you're not saved, if you're not right with God, you can get right with Jesus right now. Just simply repeat with me this prayer, but mean it in your heart. Say, dear Lord Jesus. I ask you now to forgive my sins. Come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. I'm sorry. And this day forward, I live for you. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for setting me free in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for going along with me with a little ride. God bless you.